I'm recording this on a really rough time right now. It's 8.48, August 6th. Um, and it's a rough day, but I thought it's this would help with what I want to do. The day I plan to upload this is on my birthday this year, November 2nd. But that happens and I will find out. Um, no one is about to be like, hey yo, uh, I need like another week. <laughs> but it's not a problem. Um, this, um, this is about growing up. It's about growing up and realizing things. I feel like there's something that a lot of people don't notice as they get older. I think it's their inherent ability to notice the things they didn't notice before. And it's not until you step back and realize that maybe things were the way they always were, but you just never noticed it. Maybe it progressed in some way, obviously, but... It wasn't as clear as it was. And that's something interesting about growing up. It's how things change, I think. There's, um... Last year, when I turned 18, it was a big moment for me. Because I wasn't expecting to get to 18. I thought I would be dead by 18. And by the time this comes out, I'll be 19. I'm still around. And it was something interesting that came with that change. It was a lot of things that changed that I didn't really realize they changed, but um, the first thing that came that comes to mind is it hit me that the way my relationships and the friendships I made they changed, but not in a bad way. It's the dynamics. And the type of dynamics that formed changed. I think about my friend um, Charlie or Cherry Blossom. Um, and there was a specific moment where she told me one time that she saw me as like an older sibling figure. As like a big sister. And that meant a lot to me. But it was different. In every friend group, I had always been the younger one. I was always the youngest. I was always the little sibling sort of figure, or I guess, role in that friendship. And this was the very first time someone saw me as an older sibling. And I didn't know how to... I didn't know what to think of that. It was new. And it was something I had never experienced before. And it was something I didn't think I would ever experience. It, it's nothing that came to my mind until it happened. And it wasn't a bad thing. It made me happy. But it also... It made me realize... That I really was getting older. And that I was alive. And 18. And older. And going forward. And things were changing. Right now as I'm recording this, my grandmother's memory is very, very poor. And it's getting worse and worse. And it feels like she's getting more paranoid. And... It made me realize how many things change. How things change when you grow up. And things you notice when you react to things. I think if I was 13, I would just think she's playing a joke on me. Or, oh. To give myself more credit, I think I would know what was happening. I don't think it would be hitting me as hard as the way it is now. Mm. 
A, growing up is scary. Having responsibilities, knowing that your roles change suddenly. Not suddenly, but over time more. It's scary. I spent a lot of my younger years, like most people, wishing I was older, mainly just so I could do the things I wasn't allowed to do. But, you know, now that I'm here, it's like, I, I wish I could stay in a younger age, you know? And I think everyone has moments like that. I don't think. I don't think that's it. That's, that's a universal thing. I didn't think I was going to make it to 18. And since then, every day I still go forward and I don't see a future for myself. But life goes on and changes. And I've made changes and I've been fighting. So that maybe one day I can't see a future. And I feel like a lot of people look at me maybe as someone who's a happy person or maybe as someone who is always working on something. Somebody's very busy. And I'm very thankful for the people who are around me because they make me feel like I can do what I wanted to <laughs> and that I have a future to have to for my family and my therapist and all my friends yeah, I'm very thankful I'm thankful for everybody who's patient with me as I grow up and as things change there are some people here Maybe not here. <laughs> There's somebody out there who knew me when I was 13 online who knew a version of me. And there's a version of me online here now who made it. And it was weird. Turning 18, I've never talked about it much online. When it happened, when my birthday came, it felt like that moment in a movie where there's a big hurrah or there should be and then the credits roll but life kept going on and that was really bad <laughs> no it was good it was good it was difficult it was very difficult <laughs> one of the more emotionally difficult moments in my life was me realizing I had to keep going after I reached what I thought was the finish line. And it's weird to be technically a year later, almost. And it's almost like a anniversary of missing death, it feels like. It feels like that should have been it, but it wasn't. And I'm thankful that it wasn't it. Because I've had so many good times. And such a good life. But. I don't know. This is about growing up. And I'm like going backwards in time. It's weird. Funny. <laughs> um, growing up's difficult. And it's hard. And it's weird. Because a lot of things that you don't expect to happen will happen. You get put in different roles. People look at you differently. You meet people and they don't see you as a young kid who's still growing and learning. They see you as an adult who should know better. And people treat you as such. And as they should. That's fair. It's difficult to move on. And feel like you have to leave a part of you behind 
and maybe it's wrong of me to say but I feel like you don't have to do that I feel like it's okay to be scared and to cry and to feel like you're hopeless to feel childish I think that's okay because I, I, I heart I think There's always that little part of us that's always there and it stays with us. And it looks at you and says, I'm not ready for the world. I'm not ready for change. I don't want things to change. But change is good, I think. Change can be good. And I'm thankful for change. And I'm thankful that I can grow up. It's a rough time right now. It's a time when we're in two pandemics and it feels like there's a lot of bad in the world that's out of everyone's control. Almost out of everyone's control. And it feels like we're missing out. Those of us who are growing up, we're missing out. But the world keeps going and change happens. So that means there has to be change that's good. And I don't want this to be some inspirational quote of, you're not alone. I feel like we hear it so much. It's weird, whenever I've been told that I'm not alone, I've never felt really comforted. (laughs) I mean, I have, but there have been very few times where I've felt comforted by it. It just, maybe it's selfish, but it made me feel like my problems weren't as big as they felt. But it's good to know you're not alone. Someone out there right now is crying with me. And in spirit, I'm with that person and I want them to know it's okay. And that sometimes it's difficult. But life will go on. And we will keep going on with it as long as we need to. Because we all have things we need to do. All the things we want to do. And I think, I think I owe it to the me who didn't see past 18 to keep going and to push through these moments and to accept that I'm older and to accept that change happens. And to find the best in it. You know, we went from being babies to kids to teenagers. And it's like, it doesn't hit as hard almost. For me, at least. It didn't hit as hard growing up like that. Maybe I don't remember. (laughs) But. Just because this change feels bigger doesn't mean it has to be a bad thing. I'm going to keep repeating myself. I don't know. I have my little corner where I make things. And every time I make something, I hope for a lot, but I don't expect much. But I'm very thankful for the people who are there to see the things I make, to see me and to support me. And I'm happy, and I'm still here. <laughs> yeah, I'm, um, and I'm happy you're here as you're listening. I know it's hard, but it's good we're here, and we made it. 
space we could keep making it. <sighs> and, um, yeah. <laughs> God. Everybody says being older is difficult. <laughs> it gets harder, it only gets worse, but I don't think it needs to get worse. I don't think so. <laughs> Things are always changing. These changes, I think we're just more aware how new they are and how different it is. But that just shows we've changed as well. And I think that's a good thing. I think we're all very strong. If you're listening to this, I think you're strong. And I'm proud of you. And it's hard to say, but I'm proud of myself for being here. So I want you to be proud of yourself as well. Even if it's hard. Even if there's times where you wish you were younger. When you wish you could go back. You owe it to the you who will look at that change and kept going. To keep going. That's all. <laughs> that's um, that's all. Uh, um, a weird happy birthday message. <laughs> but I guess happy birthday to me if this comes out when I want it to come out. But if not, um, I don't know. I love you.